The ocean. It plays a key role in regulating our planet's climate. It has greatly slowed the rate of climate change, absorbing heat from the atmosphere and absorbing CO2. But this has come at a cost. The ocean has warmed, acidified and lost oxygen. And so the marine ecosystems face the challenge of climate change and also that of increasing human exploitation, coastal urbanization, marine litter and pollution. To manage these multiple threats, it's vital for humankind to understand the interplay between the climate, the ocean, its ecosystems and resources in support of sustainable ocean management. At Plymouth Marine Laboratory, we provide timely and relevant scientific research, advice and solutions for a sustainable ocean future, covering marine life and processes at varying scales, from local to global, from microscopic to space, poles to tropics, lakes to oceanic environments, as well as the interaction with society. This involves an integrated system of observations, experimentation and modelling. The Western Channel Observatory, one of the most comprehensive and longest running observing systems on the planet, is an example of such an integrated approach. With an advanced fleet of autonomous assets, delivering a net zero ocean observing system combined with Earth observation and advanced ecosystem modelling. By bringing together lots of different parameters in one place, we're able to explore those relationships between different parts of the ecosystem to really understand what the trade-offs are and how the ecosystem as a whole is responding to some of these great challenges. Our research informs policy decisions needed to adapt and mitigate for climate change. We assess how changes in the provision of ecosystem services will impact society and how society can adapt. We develop technologies and novel applications in areas such as blue carbon, offshore renewable energy, carbon capture and storage, carbon dioxide removal, and on related stresses such as the impacts of plastics on climate change. Plymouth Marine Laboratory plays a leading role in the UN Ocean Decade endorsed programme, Ocean Acidification Research for Sustainability as well as in the Global Ocean Acidification Observing Network. We coordinate the network's Northeast Atlantic Hub, designed to improve the monitoring and sharing of ocean acidification data. Actually, most organisms, just like people, rely on a stable pH, internal pH in their blood systems, in their fluids. Um, so any change in that pH level can actually have quite significant consequences. We're applying Earth observation to monitor both ocean health and public health. For example, reducing risk by an early warning of climate-sensitive, waterborne infectious diseases. We look at nature-based solutions and climate-smart marine protected areas, or MPAs as they are known. The majority of our marine protected areas are potentially not going to be efficient in the coming decades as species move and adapt to climate change. Climate smart marine protected areas will hopefully be designed with climate change evidence in mind. So a lot of the work that PML does is about providing the evidence to that process as well as developing the tools that support practitioners in making that a reality. And we work on advanced earth system models to provide science knowledge in support of UK and international efforts to combat climate change. To help bring evidence of the latest ocean climate science to key stakeholders, Plymouth Marine Laboratory has attended every United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Conference of Parties since 2009, participating in, organising and facilitating numerous ocean events. Our scientists have key roles in United Nations reports, such as those of the IPCC, which inform climate negotiations and develop briefing papers, including on why the ocean matters in climate negotiations. It is imperative that everyone understands the enormous role the ocean plays in sustaining life on Earth and the consequences of a high CO2 world for the ocean and society.